With AutoTurn, it's easy to drive a vehicle in your design. To get started, click on the Vehicles icon to browse through the vehicles that are available. There are many vehicles available from all over the world. Let's have a look at some of the UK vehicles. Here we can organize the vehicles by name, by length, or by other attributes you may wish. There are vehicles here available from the Architects Handbook, DB32, FTA 2016, TRL, and some custom vehicles. In this example, I'm going to select the fire engine from the Architects Handbook and click OK to set this as the current vehicle. To drive, simply click on the type of driving path that you wish to create. In this case, I'll select a 2D arc path. So I can place my vehicle into the drawing with a left click and then choose the vehicle orientation. Or I can use this button to select an existing geometry to align my vehicle up with. Here I'm going to choose going down the drawing and left click to place the vehicle on the road. Um, I'm going to drive down the road by simply making some left clicks here and as I drag out the mouse you can see the path envelope that the vehicle will take. In this pop-up box we can see some various attributes associated with the vehicle such as the design speed and the fact that the wheels will be turning um, from stop which means that they will be turning instantaneously, such as it might incur a bit of scrubbing on the road of the tyres. OK, so as I turn into this access road, we can see that uh, while cars might easily pass through this gap, larger vehicles such as emergency vehicles and refuse vehicles might have some trouble with access, so those parking spaces would need to be redesigned. OK, as this access road is more than 20 metres long, we're going to need to provide an adequate space for turning. OK, and to drive my vehicle in reverse, I simply pull the cursor back through the body of the vehicle. I left click and then I can continue driving forwards by pulling the cursor forwards through the body of the vehicle out to the front axle. As we can see there is suitable space and the emergency vehicle is capable of entering and exiting in a forward gear in compliance with the building regulations.